All right, you guys have seen a lot of videos on YouTube about the aquarium hobby. Well, today I'm here to talk to you guys about one of the most expensive fish there is to keep in the aquarium industry. I have actually have a few in this pond right here. When you're exploring the realm of fish tube, you, you get reptiles, you get birds, you get fish, you get all over the spectrum. And you get your favorite YouTubers always telling you and showing you what the most expensive, you know, animal there is to keep. Well, today I'm going to talk to you about a few. And there is a few right here in this pond. We're going to start off with the most expensive fish there is to keep in the fish keeping world. And that right here is the Arapaima Gigas. Some people call it an Arapaima Gigas, whatever you want to call it. Have it up on screen, have fun trying to pronounce it. But these guys are really a beast of nature. These guys can get in an aquarium. Eight foot is where you really have a max capability. The largest one I know of is around eight foot in captivity. We are going to try and break that record with this beast right here. He is between six and six and a half feet long, about 200 pounds. These guys in the, the wild can get upwards of 10 feet long and weigh over 600 pounds. Those are some big old fish. And we have two of them in our very own pond here. This is Brutus. He's about four foot long. You see them front from the side and they are big old beasts. This is Brutus, our largest one. He is only about five years old and he is over six foot long. He is an absolute unit if you ask me. And uh, we had a little problem when we put Bruiser in the pond at first. Mr. Brutus was trying to go after him so we had to partition off the pond and uh, get, give him you know, a small fraction of the pond and once uh, they were in the water for about a week together he finally jumped the net and Brutus left him alone so that was a stressful week here at the rescue but when we talk about food cost there is an exceptional just astronomical price that comes along with the food food bill that tub of pellets you just seen me feed was a uh, uh, two cups of pellets and he had just inhaled it like it was nothing so we feed this pond uh, alone about 15 pounds of food every single day now when you talk about food that could be anything from you know shrimp tilapia um cut fish from your local seafood market you might be able to talk to pe people and uh get some deals on some fish but for the mo most part their main staple you know cut to tilapia and fish we can get tilapia at about three to four bucks a pound depending on where we're at in the the season but go figure mr brutus and the other arapaima doesn't really like tilapia so they are more prone to eating shrimp now a fish of th this size six over six foot long can eat anywhere from one to two pounds of shrimp a day and still eat more so on average i feed him a pound to two pounds a day that this guy here eats about a pound of food and uh we're talking about a single fish now let, let's go on you know the 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 light side let's just split it right down in, in the middle and call it a pound and a half of food every single day so a pound and a half that is what seven bucks a day there's 365 days in a year yeah you betcha that is an astronomical food bill for a single fish so what we're talking twenty five hundred dollars a year just to feed this one animal right here now you know there was a video that went, went around online from our buddy john at kg tropicals and uh, this was a little fun, funny clip that he, he did. Unless your name is Big Rich from the Ohio Fish Rescue, if you own one of these fish, you're a bad person. And I'll say it to your face.
Yes, I am a bad, bad man for owning one of these. But as you've seen, he said, if you are not, you know, the guys over at Ohio Fish Rescue, then you should not own one of these animals. And I 100% agree with him because these fish get so massive so quick. They are really, really expensive to care for. And you really need something like a 50,000 gallon pond to satisfy or validate keeping one or two of these animals. You know, a 2,000 gallon pond in your basement is not going to do. Now we talk about 2,500 bucks a year to feed him, add on another 2,500 bucks a year to, to feed him. Because I said he can eat upwards of two pounds, he can eat about a pound, and he's only growing. So I split it down the, 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 the middle there and uh, that was seven bucks a pound. That's if you're getting shrimp at a, a, a cheap rate. And uh, you know, you're, you're ta talking five grand a year just to feed these two arapaima, which is really, really just mind boggling if you ask me. And that's not even all the fish in this pond. So it is really, really crazy. Now we've, we've got fish number one. That's my most expensive but I have other ferocious eaters in this very pond. You betcha, we got these Perun sharks right here. The largest one in there is uh, pushing over 40 inches long, that big boy right there. Oh my goodness, he is a freaking tank. These guys have the mass on the body. He's probably about 16 inches tall, if you ask me. He is a really, really massive, Perun shark and th these guys have another insatiable appetite. They are one of the fastest fish in this pond and one of the largest growing in this pond. Th these guys can get over eight foot long and uh, you know they have a massive massive body on them just like the arapaima. You're talking an eight foot long fish. They're pr probably in anywhere from four to 600 pounds depending on how chunky that they are but we have three in this pond alone they are about the same age as brutus only about five years old i got them from a little fry about you know an inch long and they've grown to this 40 inch mammoth in about five years we got bruiser over here looking for some more food but these guys when it comes to feet feeding time they are relentless. So once these guys get on a little bit more size, I'm gonna have to start taking out some of these smaller monster fish. And truly, when that happens, this will officially be the true meaning of a monster pond. Six foot long fish, even bit bigger. Ha have to watch, you know, smaller three foot long fish because they will physically be eaten. They will be eaten by these large, massive Perun sharks. Could you even imagine that? I had a 24 inch Perun shark eat an 18 inch Leparanus and those things are lightning fast and he just freaking devoured that thing. But they are one of my fit favorite fish. These are also another fish I believe should not be in the hobby unless you can provide something like this for them that they can get massive in. Most, you know, aquarium owners and hobbyists don't have something of this cat caliber that is for you know the 0.1 per, per percent the the outliers this is not for the general aquarium keeper so that brings us we've got one arapaima we've got perun sharks number two which i didn't talk about cost to, to, to feed but whenever i feed this pond they pr probably will take down about three pounds of food between all three per Perun sharks, every single feeding, and they are only getting larger. So right now, I would classify those guys probably at about, I don't know, 1,800 bucks for the big, the big one, maybe a little bit less for the smallest Perun shark a year to maintain. So that is absolutely insanity. So that brings us one, Arapaima, 2,500 bucks a year, and one 40 inch Perun shark, about 1,800 bucks a year. So what is this last fish we wanna talk about? 
And I'm going to say it's the alligator gar. We've got a four foot alligator gar right here. These guys can get upwards of, you know, eight foot foot long as well. They uh, definitely have a reputation that precedes them. Look at that big old mouth. They've got two rows of razor sharp teeth. And uh, I think the, the, the record on an alligator guard might have been around not nine foot back in the 50s, but they, it's unheard of for them to grow that large anymore because they are all being overfished. Now, these guys here, the larger one, can 100% take down about a pound of food every single feeding. But these guys will eat pretty much anything they'll eat garbage if you throw it in the, the water so these guys are a bit cheaper since they will eat the cheaper food so whatever i throw in there whole fish that doesn't matter they will take it down i will probably put the alligator gar at around four foot at about a thousand dollars a year to keep so that is definitely another astronomical unit in this pond just to feed so these guys get massive. They are very slow growing, but they have a temper on them that is like no other fish. You have to keep them fed if you want to keep them in a community pond, as I do here. So you want to make sure bellies are fed. You want to make sure sizes are compatible. You want to make sure that no one in the pond can get eaten by the alligator guard. Now, some of you might say, well, why do you have all them small fish in there? Well, that was an unintentional happening. We did not plan to put all these African cichlids in this tank. They got through the overflow and they've just started to breed, and I mean breed everywhere. There are literally probably about a thousand, if not more, African cichlids in this pond at any given time. Yes, it is a natural food supply. It is, you know, the way nature intended it. I didn't put the, these guys in there. They uh, came over the overflow and now they colonate the, the pond. So we have natural food source in there as well as fish that I put, put in to feed them every single day. So yes, now you extrapolate that out to all of these other tanks. Now something like that can de definitely take that down so, some food. There are definitely some honorable mentions like some stingrays. I feed a couple pounds of food a day to all of these massive breeder stingrays. That is okay, but uh, I was just talking about my most expensive fish to today. So hope you guys maybe learn something new or learn something you didn't know before because those fish can definitely eat a metric ton of fish food. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I will catch you in the next one. As always, stay fishy, my friends.